like to say thank you so much to the great and wonderful people of Burkina Faso. We are here to uh, show our support to the great nation, the great republic of Burkina Faso for the work that you all have done, the suffering that you have been through to fight for your freedom. That you have done, and I would like to say on behalf of the African diaspora from all over the world, congratulations for the job well done. This is an important message that you are sending to everyone, and now you will be the ambassadors of this message when you are at home. That Burkina is very friendly. We live in Burkina Faso. What they want to make people believe is not Burkina. This is what they draw to get people to flee Burkina, and they depict all of Africa like that. For them, Africa is misery. Africa is famine. Africa is war. But it's them who are responsible for this war. Hello kings and queens, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Of course, I am the Kenyan Beast and we are doing it the African way every day, every time. Now, uh, returning subscribers, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for supporting me and new subscribers. Thank you. This is the place to be. Now, in today's video, I'm going to talk about um, the coup, coup d'etat that happens in uh, Burkina Faso. A lot of, it's like 17th times uh, there is a, a report that coup is happening in Burkina Faso. And my question was uh, or is why is coups happening uh, in Burkina Faso? Because for example, the president that uh, is in the seat right now, Ibrahim Traore uh, attained that seat in 2022 um, using a coup way, you know. And the president who was removed from power uh, with Ibrahim Traore him to removed someone from power through uh, military. Ibrahim Traore came to power and now uh, he has done significant changes. Uh, first of all, he has done away with the France military. He sent away the France troop and uh, he's joining ally with uh, Russia because he's looking for new friends. He invested in agriculture heavily, you know, the report and the news you saw where he gave um, tractors water pumps generators to the villagers in Burkina Faso and he have um, built the first uh, gold bank first reserve bank in Burkina Faso that means um, when the time comes time goes Burkina Faso will be controlling its own resources it's a good thing he has invested uh, started investing in uh, education uh, highly investing in security because security is the worst issue uh, or one of the main issue that is causing problem in Burkina Faso why do we have insecurity because Burkina Faso has a lot of resources and being account with a lot of resources uh, we have a um, foreign uh, intervention the UN, the neighboring countries, everyone want to chop from your country. And that's why we have insecurities issues. So, um, cool like the one uh, led by Ibrahim Traore uh, in 2022, it's happening even right now. Now it is 17 times uh, there is an attempt of coups on Burkina Faso. The first thing that will make a uh, coup uh, that's causing all this uh, is security crisis. As we have said that, security crisis. Uh, the country have um, uh, some armed groups, you know, groups everywhere that they want to take the power. And they want to take the power because of the resources of Burkina Faso. Right now, what you are talking is Ibrahim Traore is doing a good job. That's the thing that everyone is talking around the globe. Right now, African in diaspora are seeing future in Ibrahim Traore. I usually talk to them and they tell me, you know what, my brother, I want to come to Africa. But I want a country who has a president like Ibrahim Traore. I want a country who has future like Ibrahim Traore. I want a country who is showing us uh, they want to change Africa. So that's what they usually tell me. And, and I've come to believe that Ibrahim Traore has got a lot of influence from African in diaspora and Caribbeans too. They love him. But why this all cause happening? If it's good, why all this cause happening? Because here I come to understand that the leaders, most of African leaders, they don't have interest of the people in their heart. They have their own interest. Because if the people we are happy, why are you planning to remove my president from power? I've, never, I've not complained about it. 
Why are you planning to take over? What have you what do you want to do? Yeah? That's all the things that are happening between uh this issue of Ibrahim Traore, issue of Kuz, issue of Burkina Faso. He is trying hard. He is trying hard because security is the main issue. Security. And we have insecurity just simply because we have resources. Foreign inter intervention. When these countries, the foreign countries, they see you have something for us, something good. Instead of getting them illegally, they will go using foreign intervention. They will uh, start using wars and creating groups there to fight against each other. So when both of us, we fight, when all black people, all black people in Burkina Faso, when we start fighting, now they get their, their way to take over control of the resources. Now, a few years that uh, Ibrahim Traore has entered to power, he has done some things that um, some president who have been in power for 30 years has not do. He came to power in 2022 and he made uh, several significant developments that can be seen by the world. The white people, they are shocked. Who is this? This is not our guy. It's not the guy we wanted. When we talk about uh, things that uh, Ibrahim Traore has done since 2022, it's evident worldwide. It's evident in the face of the world. Because uh, when you talk about gold and mining se sector, gold and mining sector, Traore made significant strides in uh, Burkina Faso gold sector by approving uh, the construction of the country's first gold refinery. That's in late 2023. First since Burkina Faso started being Burkina Faso. First gold refinery. That's how Africa we are behind. Like we never had it. They never had it. They never had it in Burkina Faso. And um, this, uh, uh, this refining gold, uh, it will be for refining gold domestically instead of exporting raw materials. So they will, this uh, industry or this gold refinery will be of a... Um, uh, refining their own materials instead of exporting raw materials, exporting it in a, in a cheaper way, you know, and then coming back very expensive. So they will refine the gold here. Again, what it did, it was the crackdown of elite gold trade. Crackdown of uh, gold trade that is, uh, you know, illegal gold trade because a lot of foreign countries have been uh, getting gold from Burkina Faso illegally. Let's talk about France. That's what we call a, a exploitation. They have been exploiting gold from France, uh, from Burkina Faso, for so long. But these initiatives seek to reduce illegal gold smuggling to ensure proper regulation and boost state revenue by formalizing artisanal gold production. Now, this is where we are going to see how a country will grow by its own resources. Big up to Ibrahim Traore. Another thing he has, is doing is uh, strengthening national security. So he has joined hands with the Russia in the terms of security. And I know Russia will, will play a good part. Pan-Africanism initiative. This is one of the things Ibrahim Traore has a uh, uh, major on. Pan-African initiative. Now talking to um, we call uh, African diaspora Caribbeans and telling them, you know what, it's high time you come back home. Burkina Faso is the place to become invest in our country. This is the only way we can achieve all this. Now, this is things that uh, Ibrahim Traore has done to Burkina Faso. That is, a lot of presidents who have been in power for more than 30 years have not done. But all in all, at the end of the day, there is an attempt for coups. Why are you attempting to remove someone from power who is doing a great job? Why are you threatening to remove someone in power who is doing great? These coups that is happening in Burkina Faso, it's because of selfish gains. Some leaders, some politicians, some white supremacy, it's because of selfish gains. They wanna they, they know this is not for ours. We wanna enter that power. The puppets of the US are there, puppets of France are there. Because these coups, most of them are being done by fellow black brothers. That means enemy of the people is ourselves. We are hating ourselves. By the time we wake up and say that, you know what, let's Africa 
speak together. Let's support Burkina Faso. Let's support Ibrahim Traore. But instead you'll get countries trying to manipulate, to be manipulated by the white people. And when they're trying to be manipulated by white people, they are sending their troops and groups, forming groups in Burkina Faso, attempting coups. So it's not that Burkina Faso president is doing bad job, but it's because some uh, false prophets and fake politicians trying to smuggle their impunitive way in power. I will urge that they will give Ibrahim Traore some time, you know, to push up. Because we need more Traores in Africa. We need more Traore in the face of the earth. We need more Traore to change the world. You know what I mean? Tell me what you think on the comment section about this video. Why are we experiencing so many coups in Burkina Faso? How do what do you think about Ibrahim Traore? Tell me what you think on the comment section. I am the Kenyan Beast, of course. We are doing it the African way. Until next episode, peace. Be with you.